which led to an even bigger question then of kind of, all right, so where can I create change in this program? Where does change come from? A really great example of early thinking around the power that we have to create change and kind of um, how we can apply our resources as long as we keep who we're trying to do things for at the heart of what we're trying to do. There can be no one size fits all approach here. And this is what inspired the creation of this Creative Climate Action Toolkit. This toolkit is for small creative businesses, practitioners, freelancers who want to act on climate but might be unsure about where to start or maybe lack the capacity to act. Breathing Systems is a spatial performance that uses a, a wireless multi-channel sound system to spatialise my voice. So we're working on a project called The Nightmare Market, which is a new horror experience that focuses on a slow and psychological approach to telling a story. The funding that we've received for Lost Horizon has been absolutely crucial to everything that we're trying to do. We want this experience to be nourishing and fun and feel safe and for people to feel that they can come and be involved and experiment with us on the journey that we're on. At its heart, Stupid Cities is about the lived disabled experience of public space. The map is a way of seeing and geolocating microaggressions and specifically where they cluster. We classify the microaggressions by risk and by different temporary design or permanent design features. Wherever you are in the world, it doesn't matter where you are, you can leave a lovely message for your dad or your sister or your brother or your friend and it means that it's like for that patient, they've got you next to them. We're very much in the research stages here, but we are interested in looking at how seeds move across the world and where they end up and how. This is a Lagos lab. So be Lagosian, be as Lagosian as you want to be. Each day we went through a different set of skills development workshops. We looked at things like mental health and well-being. We looked at kind of how you understand your creative neighbourhood and your creative ecology and how you build that and how you network. This funding with uh, Bristol and Bath Creative R&D has meant that we can really explore our own discipline and the, our own way that we make things and, and look to a partner who may want to come on that journey with us. So it has been incredibly unique and stretching. We really made some huge decisions. That's what this funding gave us, is that we were allowed to make these massive decisions about what this can be. And it has led us to understand that we can make this work. The collaboration between Boom Satsuma and Iconic Black Britons, it happened very organically. There is a lot of synergy between the two of us. We're very big on art, we're very big on education, and we're very big on representation. So immediately, we just clicked. Bristol and Bath Creative R&D funding has allowed us to explore what this platform can be and what it can't be. It's allowed us to test and fail. It's allowed us to innovate. It's allowed us to work out how we can make it more inclusive. My very small goal is to create a seed of a project that other people can take on in their cities all over the world. I think there are two main parties that this project has been for. One has been those of us working in festivals and in these organisations to think creatively creatively and to work with new practices and really understand the context that different organisations around the world might be working with. Most importantly, this work has been for you, our audiences, so that wherever you are in the world, you can engage with the work that we're creating.